Abraham, if you don't know the story behind Abraham, he was considered the father of the Jewish people. God promised him this blessing. He said, I will multiply your descendants among the nations and all the earth will be blessed through you. You'll be the father of multitudes, except Abraham had no children yet. God promised him, I'm going to bring you a son. So they waited a long time. Abraham and Sarah went way past childbearing age, and then Sarah got pregnant. We don't even want to think about how that happened, all right? Like, <laughs> gross. <laughs> but, but, but finally, <laughs> she's pregnant, and they have the son, the promised son, Isaac. And then this crazy thing happens in Genesis 22. God calls Abraham and says, I want you to take your son, your only son, whom you love, up the mountain, Mount Moriah, and sacrifice him to me as a burnt offering. How do you think Abraham felt about that? Wicca, 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 what? Like, how would you feel if God asked you to do that, right? Like, right now, you're like, I don't know if I have that kind of faith. But Abraham, he had faith. So he took his son. Isaac, and he said, we're going up the mountain to make a sacrifice to the Lord. So, uh, you know, carry this bundle of wood on your back. And Isaac wasn't dumb. He's like, yo, dad, where's the uh, animal that we're sacrificing? Abraham was, don't, uh, God will provide a sacrifice. I don't know. Let's, let's go. They go up the mountain. They, they go up the mountain, and, and Abraham is willing to sacrifice his son to God because simply God asked him to. The son that he had waited for, the promised son. So he lays his son down on this altar And I know Isaac was like, yo, dad, seriously, what's happening right now? And Abraham was like, well, I'm going to do what God told me to do. So as he was about to drop the knife on his own son, says the angel of the Lord spoke from heaven, which was probably actually Jesus pre-incarnate, and said, do not lay a hand on your son. He stopped him. And then Abraham saw that there was a ram caught in the thicket by his thorns. God provided a substitutional sacrifice so that Isaac would not have to die. All of this foreshadowed Jesus who would come, that God would give his son, his only son, whom he dearly loved, as a substitutionary sacrifice for our sins, that he would also carry wood up his back, up a hill, and take our place paying the debt that we owe to him. 